Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and we are continuing our discussion about moles, and today we're going to do some calculations using the mole, and we're going to see how you can relate moles to volume and the number of particles. So for starters, we're going to start with molar mass, and we had talked about atomic mass, but what about for compounds? For instance, sodium chloride, which is NaCl. There's a sodium atom and there's a chlorine atom combined. So we're going to use the subscripts to lead us through this. So we're going to say one sodium, so one times sodium is 22.99, and one times chlorine, which is 35.45. And so we add those together and we get 58.44. So calculating the molar mass for a mole of sodium chloride it's using the formula and the subscripts, and we arrive at one mole of sodium chloride has a mass of 58.44 grams. What about something like sucrose, which is table sugar? Again, the formula is going to lead us through. So 12 times carbon equals this, 22 times hydrogen. Where am I getting these numbers? I'm reading them off the periodic table, and I'm rounding to the hundredths place, and for hydrogen to the thousandths place, 11 oxygens uh, is going to be this number. Then I add them up, and because I had a hydrogen present, I am not at the hundredths place. So my last step is always to round to the hundredths place. This 6 is going to cause me to have to round this up. So my molar mass in this case is 342.30, again, to the hundredths place. So what about something like the molar mass of aluminum sulfate? Here's the formula for aluminum sulfate, and I want you to notice the subscripts and the parentheses. So in this case, there's two of these, there's three times one, three of these, and three times four, 12 of those. So two aluminums, three sulfurs, and 12 oxygens. And when we add those up, we get 342.17 grams per mole. So you want to be particularly careful when there are parentheses. So there's generally three types of mole conversions that we're going to encounter. Moles to mass, or mass to moles. Moles to the number of particles, where by particles I mean molecules, atoms, or formula units and mole volume problems. So what you're going to find is that this concept of the mole gives you just one more conversion factor in your arsenal, like seven days in a week and 12 inches is a foot. Now you'll know that, for instance, 16.00 grams is the same as a mole of oxygen atoms. So we use something called a mole roadmap, and that allows us to equate the volume of a gas at STP to a mole, the mass in grams to a mole, and the number of pieces to moles. And we like to hand out something called a mole roadmap. And again, it's kind of like all roads lead to the mole, and there's three ways that we can get to a mole. So let's look at a mole mass problem. What is the mass of 4.00 moles of sodium chloride? Given four moles of sodium chloride, unknown, how many grams of sodium chloride? Conversion factor, one mole of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams. We did that a few slides ago. Solve. So we're going to start with our given four moles of sodium chloride. This is our molar mass. Remember I said molar mass is going to be like a conversion factor. So we know that we have 58.44 grams of sodium chloride as one mole. How do I know what to put in the numerator and the denominator? Well, I want moles of sodium chloride to cancel out. And in order for that to happen, I have to have the moles in the denominator here. And then I'll do my calculation, and that gives me, my calculator gives me this number. And looking up here, I had three significant figures. That's my third digit right there. So I'm going to round to 234 grams of sodium chloride. Now what about volume? If one mole of helium weighs 4.00 grams per mole, how much does two moles weigh? Well, can you weigh out something that's less dense than air? The short answer is 
You cannot weigh a gas because it's less dense than air, and gravity will not pull it down on your scale. So what do you do with gases? Well, it turns out the volume of a mole of a gas is much more predictable than solids or liquids. And we know that under the same physical conditions of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of any gases contain the same number of particles. Remember Avogadro? So we refer to these as standard conditions of temperature and pressure, and we um, abbreviate them as STP, standard temperature and pressure. So at one, at STP, one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. 22.4 liters is known as the molar volume of a gas. What does that mean? It means that 22.4 liters of any gas at standard temperature and pressure contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of that gas, and that means that that's one mole of a gas. So if I give you 22.4 liters of a gas, I'm giving you a mole of the gas. So what are these STP conditions? Standard temperature and pressure are agreed to be the specific conditions that you can reach in lab where standard pressure is one atmosphere, the abbreviation is ATM, and standard temperature is zero degrees C, which is the same as 273 Kelvin. You need to memorize these numbers. So let's look at a mole volume problem. How many moles are in 145.6 liters of oxygen gas at STP? Whenever you see STP, you should immediately think, ding, 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 ding. STP means one mole occupies 22.4 liters. So given 145.6 liters of oxygen, the unknown is how many moles is that? The conversion factor is, since we're at STP, one mole is 22.4 liters. So let's solve it. So when we're setting this up, you begin with the given, you multiply by your conversion factor, where you set it up such that the unit you want is in the numerator, the unit that you were getting rid of is in the denominator, that way liters of oxygen cancels out, and when we plug it into our calculator, we get 6.5, and that should set off an alarm in your head, that's only two sig figs. Wait, what was I given? I was given one, two, three, four sig figs. So I need to add some zeros. So now you'll notice that what I ended up with has one, two, three, four sig figs. So the correct answer here would be 6.500 moles of oxygen is how many moles are in a sample of 145.6 liters at STP. And now I'm going to give you an example of a mole representative particle problem. How many moles is 2.107 times 10 to the 24th molecules of oxygen? So given 2.107 times 10 to the 24 molecules of oxygen, the unknown is how many moles is that? The conversion factor is one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen, and we're going to solve. So we're going to say 2.107 times 10 to the 24 molecules of oxygen times 1 mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, making sure that our molecules cancels out. When we plug that into our calculator, we get 3.5 moles. That only has two sig figs. How many do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I go in and I add some zeros, and that leaves me with 3.500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, four significant figures. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine, and I'm going to sign off. I have posted some more tutorials and more examples of these mole calculations.